Elizabeth, I'm gonna call a ride share and head home. Hey! But the goal is to stick around for a while. Make Chase and Brooklyn's wedding. You know it is. But why did you hide symptoms from me? I didn't hide them from you. You didn't tell me either. I mean, maybe there's something we could do. You know, maybe there's a protocol or some physical therapy. Yeah, there's nothing, Hamilton. It's just, it's just the way this disease goes. It eats away at you little by little. Sometimes a lot by a lot. Hey, don't you understand? I want to help. What's the point of having a medical license if I can't, can't do something to help my own father? You don't want to help me. Of course I do. You want to save me. God, I love you for it. But you can't save me, son. No one can. What can I do? You, rather, we can have an honest, loving relationship where we don't walk on eggshells. We don't hide things from one another. Where we just are, father and son. Can we stand here on this sacred ground and give that to each other? Yeah. Yeah, we can. It was interesting. I'll tell you about it on the way home. Did your dad leave? Uh, oh, he's, he's, uh, he's waiting in the car. What's wrong? What's wrong? Um, you know, I, I know, I know what's ahead of us with the ALS, at least, <laughs> at least my head does. But your heart is having a hard time catching up. Seeing my dad struggle, no one. He's getting worse, that it's getting worse right now, today. Wait, did something happen? He's okay. It's just. Dad, I'm so sorry. He's a hard old boy, my dad. You know, he values his independence so much, but. I think we have to face the facts. My father won't be able to look after himself much longer. <laughs>